Welcome back to the second video on Aliens Attack Game Making. Our next part of our game is going to be setting up the game controls down here. Now we're just going to be setting them up so that they are actually buttons at this stage. So how do we do that? So we've got our game controls with the left button. We create the word left button. We could have created anything there but it's a nice way of doing it, left button is equal to a button. We put this button into the user interface with the text equal to the less than signs twice. And then we need to grid it in and here is the important thing, column zero, row one, and the next one will be column two, row one, the next one will be column one, row zero, and the next one will be column one, row two. So you've got the left button, the right button, the up button, and the down button. So let's have a look at how to create those particular buttons. The left button, right, will equal to a button. So that's what it'll be, it'll be a button. And we're going to put it in the user interface with the text equal to this, the lower, so the less than signs. Um, so that is the actual button and now anytime you create something you actually need to place it within there. So if I go left button and I can use the IntelliSense here, left button dot grid and in this case we're putting it in the column zero and we're putting it in row one. Okay. And so that will create our first button. Now if we run that, there's an error here. What is that error? It's not look, it has not find, found the user interface. It actually needs to be a capital I there. So that should actually fix that. Spelling is really important. So it's created this button over here, okay? But still, it's not exactly where we want it to be. But let's put in all our buttons first and then adjust them. So we're going to go right button equals, and I'm just going to grab this same code here. And this time the text will equal to the greater than symbols. And the other thing that I need to do is I now need to um, grid this in. So I'm just going to grab this code here and just change the thing. So I need to change the right button here. Right button grid equals column two. So let's put it in column two and row one. So let's have a look and see what happens now. So now we've got the button over here got the two buttons there on either side. So let's have a look at our up button. And uh, that equals of course a button. And it's of course going to be in the user interface. And the text is equal to, in this case, we're going to actually make it equal to the shift six button. But I probably need to put uh, some space here um, just to give it a little bit of space here. We might have to adjust that space in a bit. And again, we'll grab all of this and we'll put that there. We'll just change that to the up button. And now it needs to be, we just need to change the column and the row. So let's have a look at what they are column one and row zero. Okay, let's run that. Now it's starting to look right. So now we've just got to place the bottom one down here. So I'm just going to grab this. And now we're going to change that to down change that to down and now we need to change the text in this case I'm going to use the V 
and uh, the actual down button will be column one, row two. Column one, row two. So let's have a look at that. So now we've got these buttons that work very well. That will be it for this video. Catch you in the next video.